Let's not go into that. Okay. That's not an R-rated show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Records and Refreshments, presented by Leaps and Bounds Music Festival. I'm Francesca from Rock Hopper Records. We're here today at Beer Match. We've got about 500 or so beers that we have to choose from to match with local records. So I've invited four local musos along. Um, they're going to come have a chat, have a play, and match some local records with some delicious beers. I'm going to put all the links to the beers and the records below this video so you can check them out online and experience it yourself. Our first guest is a classically trained pianist who played in punk bands, but she's gone solo. She's just released her debut album, Is This Offensive and Loud? Her music has been described as grungy yet blissful, charmingly rebellious. Please welcome Nat Vaser. Firstly, did I pronounce your last name right? Yeah. No, oh, that's, that's right. so yeah. good. I forgot to ask you before. No, that's um, cool. Thanks for coming. Uh, congratulations on the new album. Thank you. Yeah, we should cheers to that actually. How do you feel <laughs> now it's out? Um, yeah, I'm pretty pretty stoked. You're stoked. Yeah. I feel like when I've done big things in my life, I expect it to be like a big celebration, but then it kind of doesn't feel like I expected it to. Yeah. Did, did you experience that at all? Or was um, it? Yeah, a little bit, because I guess I wrote the songs, well, most of the songs in like 2018, so it's mm. been a long time. So I feel like yeah. mentally I'm a bit <laughs> over it, but I'm, I'm still excited that it's now out, out. in the world, yeah. I sure. heard you, so you wrote it in Toronto, in the outskirts of Toronto? What yeah. were you doing there? Um, so I pretty much was travelling through just North America at the time, um, had just quit my full-time job, and um, yeah, I just wanted to make some more, um, you know, space in my life and um, spend a bit more time to just focus on writing and stuff. So. Well, the album so. sounds amazing, so I think it was worth it. Yeah, thanks so um, much. We'll talk about, about that later, but firstly, I wanted to talk about the record you brought in, which I will get. There sure. you go. Tell us about the record you brought in and why, and a bit about the band, because I had actually never heard of these guys before. Oh, cool. You suggested it. Um, yeah, well, this is a 2019 record released by um, a Melbourne band which has pretty much been around since the dawn of time. Um, they're called Los Ragas. Um, and yeah, I just like, I've just been following them for a little while, and um, this is a bit, I guess you could describe it as a bit like psychedelia, a bit, a little bit country. But yeah, you can hear a bit of like Willie Nelson kind of yeah. influences and. Bit of Bowie. A yeah, bit of, um, I was like greats, imagining so. sipping a beer, kind of road tripping through the USA when I was listening to it. <laughs> it um, does have that, yeah. yeah, kind of feel for sure. Yeah, but um, I'll see what you chose yeah. to match with it. I was so I was thinking like oh. an ale. Yeah. Um, but what have you chosen? You have chosen an ale. I have, yeah. And this so, is the last one that was left. Oh, was it? So it must so be popular. I've snatched that one. Yeah. Awesome. Firstly, tell me why you chose this beer. Yeah, I don't know. Like my band and I had a lot of this. Beachy Pale Ale when we were oh, down at Beachworth you? last year. It was oh. one of the last gigs we played before cool. COVID hit. Yep. So it kind of has a special place right, in I my see. heart. And it's probably drawing a long bow, but yeah, it, <laughs> it is a bit like country and rock and roll, which is a bit like what Los Ragas is totally. all about. It's a nice colour. Is it wrong to like swish this in this car? I don't know. Not, the beer experts aren't watching, so you can do what we want. Cheers. Cool. Mmm. Tasty. It's refreshing. Mm. What am I tasting? Yeah. Is it fruity or hoppy? I think it's a like a little bit hoppy. Yeah. It's very yeah light on. I think it's delicious. A little bit fruity, a little bit hoppy. The next one is your album. Oh yeah. Which we've already talked a little bit about. It's beautiful. I love the um the inside cover. You know, it's just nice to have like an inner sleeve with lyrics yeah. and stuff like lyrics. Just the good old days where you used to, you know, read lyrics and listen. Totally. I um, used to love li reading the um, lyric books on the CDs. I guess my experience with your album is like, so yes, yeah, so I've been writing and listening to it, and it's just such a good, like, mellow, kind of rocky trip. But then it gets to, like, I think, the middle of the album, Mother, 
That is such a sad song. Um, it is <laughs> devastating. I think I'm almost crying when I'm riding my bike. We look at the saddest oh, no. cyclist. But um, I'm so sorry. Almost if you can, made you cry. Yeah, yeah, and that doesn't happen much. But I was devastated. Can you talk a bit about that song and yeah, maybe well, the experience writing it? Yeah, it's just um, I don't know what sort of compelled me to write it, but um, it's inspired by my mum, who um, is a survivor of, of um, breast cancer, and yeah, she just had um, a really crazy battle with that for a couple of years. So. She's also the very, like, the most stubborn woman I know. <laughs> um, gives me hell, but yeah, love her very much. Um, and it just sort of, I guess, revolves around this whole idea of um, who, who were our parents, like, before we were born, before we got to meet them, because we're seeing a very side, a different side, you know, totally, to yeah. them. It's like a whole, you know, different chapter of their life, parenthood. Yeah. And so, um, I don't know, it just kind of got me thinking like, you know, I've never really known um, my parents. I don't think really anyone really has or, yeah. you know, you don't get that opportunity to no. know who they really are, or who they were before, you know, before we came into existence. And yeah, exactly. It was just a thought that kind of plagued my mind for a little bit. Yeah, so. I've been thinking about that a lot too lately. Yeah. And like, I think as I get older, I'm also think about, I feel guilty more about like, you know, things they said when we were younger and like yeah. all the sacrifices, like, oh, now I understand what you went through for me. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything I did. Yeah, what? so I've got a few shows to announce actually, if you don't. Go for it. Yeah, so um, I've got, um, well, obviously this this will be airing on the 15th of yep. June um, and there will be, um, my band and I will be playing a full, um, a full band show at um, Small Time in Brunswick, that's on 20th of June, which will be sick. That's live streamed, that's also a physical gig, you can actually book um, tables there, it's like a really cute pizza, oh, cool. pizza bar oh, um, awesome. and they have some really great beers as well on tap there. There's also, we're also doing an in-store. Um, that's at a really cute little record store called Rocksteady Records. That's on Lonsdale Street oh, yeah. in the CBD. Um, and there'll be a fair few copies of this as well there. Amazing. Left, um, if anyone wants that. And that'll be a full band show as well and live stream. So. Awesome. A full band show in the yeah. record store? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have cool. no idea how we're going to manage that. Yeah, with I want to see that. social distancing, <laughs> but it, it's going to happen loud. either way, so. Cool. Okay, yeah. let's quickly get this beer matching going for this. For Nat Vaser's album, Is This Offensive and Loud, we've matched Sailor's Grey from Orbost's new release, Garden State. You can't look. So what I'm gonna do is play a little game. Um, so the beer mash guys, the beer experts here, have matched a beer to your record after listening to it. Okay. Um, I want you to taste it blindfolded and guess three correct facts about it. The okay. first being the color of the beer. The second, you're gonna have to guess um, flavour profiles of the beer. So okay. I'm looking for like hoppy, grassy, sweet, medium body, whatever you can think of, okay. go for it. And then the last one is guessing the style. So like IPA, ale. Okay. Okay. And you don't get anything if you win. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay so put okay. that on. Which way does this go? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it, which, whichever oh, you do. I feel like because the label's I like think on you, the inside, yeah, it's got to be. The fun stuff yep. on the outside. Yep. Excellent. Okay. Love it. Yeah, I do need. Loving the energy. Sweet. This looks cool. I need a fresh glass. Thank you. All right. I might get you to just pass it to me. Oh yeah, I I'll, I'll let you know where it is. There it is. Cool, thanks. What's a weird guy? Can I get a glass too? Yeah. Please. Two minutes. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> this um, is such a cool, way. oh sorry. Yeah, you have to guess the color. Is it like a, like a medium sort of brown or a dark brown? I'm not telling you till the okay. end. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I'll guess like dark brown, I guess. It tastes super grassy. Um, yeah, I don't yeah. know, like it's... Grassy. I'm guessing that, like something. an IPA. An IPA. Can you give more, you have to give two more words, I just made that rule up, two more words that describe the taste of it. Okay, cool. Um, 
Yeah, it has a... <laughs> <laughs> it's not, it's kind of light, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it's got like a crispness to it, for sure. Wow, well, it does taste different. Okay. Mm. It really gets you. It's wow. like, the it's smell? quite distinct, the flavour. What does it smell like? like does it smell it like smells grass? like hay, mm -hmm. like farm hay. Mm. <laughs> or is that just Well, me? this makes sense when you take off your, you can take off your cool mask. Mm. Okay, so firstly the colour, you may have got wrong. How, it yeah, actually smoother. it's very light. It's light. But it is called garden steak, so it's nice. very grassy. So let's match a beer to this record. The beer expert, can you tell us what you've matched with Nat's record? For Nat Vaser's album, Is This Offensive and Loud, we've matched Sailor's Grave from Orbost's new release, Garden Steak. Okay, so the colour you got wrong, that's okay. Um, I reckon you guessed the flavour profile right. And you guessed IPA, didn't you? Yep, I did. Yeah. Okay, let's see what this actually is. Okay, so Maddie has magically appeared to explain what beer this is because we had no idea. Tell us. Yes, so this was a tricky one. Um, it is a botanical ale. So uh, it's like a pale ale. It's infused with marigold flowers and coriander seeds. It's such a different beer. Yeah. Thank you. Love it. Thanks, Maddie. Cool. I'm a fan. I really like I this. I like it too. Yeah. Good choice. Well, I'm going to get you to go set up now and play a song from the album. What are you playing? Um, I'll be playing Better Now, which is the fourth track from the album. Fourth so track. Amazing. Yeah. Can't wait. Just seems so bright. 
My next guest is a Melbourne chap who is producing his own psychedelic dream pop tunes in his bedroom. When he's not making music, he's a seeing eye dog trainer. What a dream. Please welcome Aiden Sayer. Woo! <laughs> Thanks for being here, Aiden. Thank you for having me. Did you me. like my intro? You killed it. Yeah, I I'm killed it. I'm proud of you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, Aiden, I know you like beer, so that's really great that you came. I don't have to worry about it. You didn't just have gonna to chug ask it me down. twice yeah, I to didn't. come because your... <laughs> there's beer. <laughs> What's your favourite type of beer? Uh, I wouldn't say I have a specific, a certain favourite type. You're just type. an easy, easy guy. Well, yeah. I mean, at the moment I've been um, really liking this uh, beer called Kaiju Crush. They do oh, a really good yes. tropical pale ale. I love that beer. Yeah, great beer. Um, also really into sours as well. Oh, I actually really? really like sour beer. I feel like that's a trend, but I haven't got on board yet. Yeah, we're a trendy guy. Oh, you are a trendy guy, yeah. I've got to keep on. <laughs> I know, I'll let you know. And um, how is ISO going? Can I... Is it still ISO? Oh, I guess it's not. Yeah. But um, how did it go? Because I just want to bring something up. Sure. You had to move back in with your mother. Guy did. How did that go? Look, I was concerned um, <laughs> that we might butt heads, but uh, it has been a very uh, smooth transition. Oh, I must you say. love it. <laughs> and like you maybe will never leave I mean, again. I am a mummy's boy. You I'm are. not gonna lie. Yeah, no, it's been very good. It's been really lovely. Yeah, and you're a seeing eye dog trainer. Well, yeah, I, I just uh, try to train. Uh, it's not my job, but yeah, I, I do foster caring for them, so I have to be trained up to do it. So to train, train to, to train. train to train. To um, train. Yeah, so I've been doing it for about nearly two years now. I need to get you to train my dog, you know, he met you. I've and, met uh, Giorgio. He loved you a bit too much. I've met Giorgio and, uh, and Charlie. I'm happy to come oh, over. Charles. Yeah, yeah you Charlie. can come over again. I'm happy to Bring do it. Bring some treats. Yeah, I've got it. Okay, good. He, I think Giorgio really liked me. He, he did. Let's he not go did. into that. Okay. That's not an R-rated show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Let's mm. taste the first beer. Cool. Um, so the record oh, yeah. that you brought me yes. is beautiful. Tell me about why you chose Number One Dad's, their new record, or his new record, Golden Repair. Yeah. Um, Take it. This is just an absolutely, it's just a beautiful record, really, uh, from the artwork to the production. Um, I actually worked with the um, photographer, um, Jeff Anderson Jr., who did this artwork with Tom Jansek as well. They do it together. Um, it's just a beautiful album. It and is. I, I do everything to it. Like it's not like I have to be in a certain mood to listen to it. Like I cook to it, I clean oh, to it. Like I sit outside nice. and have a beer to it. It's just easy listening, beautiful. Yeah. Like it is beautiful indie folk kind of music, and acoustic stuff. Yeah. Also, what is beautiful is the record itself, which you should yeah. get out. It's the limited edition gold version. Oh. Yeah. I'm kind of nervous about doing it. Yeah. I, it's gold, isn't it? Only the best for you. Oh, crap. So it's called Golden Repair and oh. it's a golden record. Isn't Sweet. It, it doesn't need to be repaired, though. It's no. just golden. Well, I got a fact about um, what the record name is referencing because I had a Google. It's Do you cool. know what it's re he's referencing? I wish I did. Okay. I'll tell you. Thank you. <clears throat> so the title, Golden Repair, repair, references old Japanese art, the old Japanese art practice of kintsugi by which broken ceramics are fixed by using golden lacquer that symbolically irradiates the cracks. Cool. Um, so that is so great because yeah. it's like, that sounds like such a beautiful practice and I feel like yeah. that's kind of like music, like you for instance, making all your sad songs, well some of them sound really happy, <laughs> getting yeah. some gold on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah highlighting I, the cracks. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay, well, let's get the beer that you've chosen. Okay. Do I have it? Yep. Yeah. Here it is. So this is to match with Golden Repair. Why did you choose this beer? Like I was saying, <laughs> because I listen to this, what in terms of like you know whatever I'm doing, this is just full of flavour. This is beer. It? You've got it? it's, it's a tropical sour. You've got your guava, passion fruit, pineapple, coconut, and mango. Have you tasted this beer? Before? I have. Oh, you have. It's brilliant. Oh, okay, let's taste it. I haven't. No, I haven't either. Oh. Light on my face. But look at it, look at it pour out. That, oh. 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 Look at that. 
Juicy. Just... <laughs> Look, oh. oh. Gee, that's a beer. <laughs> I've never had what... beer out of a, like a, like a, like a wine glass either. Oh. As I said, it. only mm. the best. Okay, so... Do you so... like how I'm swirling it around? Like, sorry, sorry. No, that's, uh, um, yeah, that's yeah, what you gotta do. I believe that's what you're supposed to do. Oh, cheers. Cheers, absolutely. Eye contact. Mm. I can smell oh, the coconut. Yeah. But it's sour, so you sense it was a sour. Oh my god. Oh, that bangs. That's I'm not really, really good. With good. Sour. You know when um, you don't like it? those sour oh, lollies in bad. school? I would get my sister to lick off the sour bit and then I'd eat the lolly. Or I'd get water and wash it off. Ah. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> it's like a warhead, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's like you a, that's, what the I, warhead? that's what yeah, I did. The yeah. warheads, I used to wash the sour bit. Yeah, bits. and it had that face on the front that was just yeah. like. That's you know, me. Yeah. No, it's delicious though. It's, um, yeah, it's very. <laughs> that's so I've got good. facts about your beer. Okay. You've got facts about it. Yeah, yeah. it's from Norway. Yeah. Oslo. I um, didn't know that. You already knew it. You read yeah. the can as well? I did. How to check it. And it's a tiki inspired beer, which you can totally get. It's so tropical. It tastes like coconutty tropical goodness. Pineapple, Pineapple coconut, yep. mango, and passion fruit. Fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I want to talk about your new, your new single. Two, yeah. That you released about a month ago. <laughs> it's true. You have actually haven't got a vinyl record, so I made one for you. No. It <laughs> looks pretty legit. It's pretty, really good. You never know. I'm taking it home. So sure. tell me about the song and um, what about it's about. Because it's, uh, yeah, it's a really dancey, catchy pop banger, but when you listen to it, it's actually not very... It's a bit depressing. It's a bit depressing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, it, it touches, um, it's about like a toxic relationship. Um, you know, trying to work your way out of it, but getting getting roped roped back in and trying to deal with that. And um, yeah, I think I think the song encapsulates that well, like that push yeah. and pull, yeah, like the juxtaposition between your the sad vocals and the the happy vibes. Yeah, it's pretty upbeat for a sad song. Yeah, which is good. I like yeah. it. Thank you. Um, what else can we say about this? Oh, you worked on this with Hamish Patrick, who was Hamish just Patrick. here before. He He's higher places. He's, higher places. Yeah. He's uh, very talented, absolute freak. Um, and also worked on it with uh, Gab Strum, who's uh, Japanese wallpaper. Yeah. yeah, and you're working on a new song with Gab? At the moment, yeah. When's that coming out? August, isn't it? That's it what is he told August. me before. It is August. <laughs> I didn't want to say, I didn't know if we were saying August. I was going to say, you know. Soon. Oh, soon. But, you know, August. Let's let them know so they can prepare. August. August. Yeah, coming out in August. <laughs> Very excited. Let's see what they match with you next. Oh, okay. With your current So they've, signal. they've matched a beer. A beer. So, beer experts, um, Ooh, what okay. have you matched with Aiden Sayers' right. new record? Here we go. We decided to match Aiden Sayers' new single, You Never Know, with a brand new beer from Bodrigi, canned this morning. This is Fuzzy Dance Explosion which uh, kind of sums up Aiden in a whole. I've got the beer. So we're playing a game. I don't know if you heard before. Okay. So yeah, I did. You did here? Yeah. So I you know did. the rules. Okay. No, so no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what you've got to do is guess three facts about the beer you're tasting that they've matched. You've got to guess the colour of the beer. The colour of the Jesus. beer. Jesus. I oh, can't see, can I? <laughs> um, the colour of the beer, yeah. uh, flavour profiles of the beer. So like, you know, like you just did before, passion fruit, etc. Mm. Um, and then you go to guess the beer type. Ah, um, uh, yep. <coughs> All right. Sounded good. Sounds good, yeah. 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 Bit. Sounds like beer. Oh, a bit. Here you go. Here's. Uh, yep. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's okay. Cool. Okay, so just taste it and think about what color it might be. Color. Yeah. Right. Uh, a, a real expert could tell, right? Okay, no one's saying yes. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's good. It feels like it could be a pale colour. Like... You have to be more specific. Like a lighter... Mm -hmm. Almost like the colour of like the sour we had before. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So you're going to say like a pale yellow? Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, let's, let's go That's with that. What, Pale yellow. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pale yellow. And what's the flavour profile? I don't know. Just say a few words that uh, come to mind. 
It kind of tastes soury as well. I, this could be a sour. Okay. Yeah, but like, hmm. And can you say anything else or is that, is that Of all the beers the I've answer? had, this is one of them, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, and what type of beer is this? I think it's oh, a sour. Oh, you it's a sour. Yeah. <laughs> correct. I it's mean, a sour. Are you correct? No, I don't know. Take off your Take bubble off. things. Yeah. Okay. It's oh. a sour. Oh. Killed it. Okay. So Sick. this is from Bodrigi Brewery, which is around the corner. Have you been there? It's um, no, on I Johnson haven't. Street. Right. It's on Johnson Street. They just opened, I think. Oh, cool. Like a public bar place. Um, Bodrigi. Yeah, it's um, brewed with fresh pineapple juice, um, notes of mango oh. and lime. So those are all the words you could have used. That was tripping me out because I was like, did they just pour the same beer into <laughs> the glass? True, they are yeah, tropical Yeah, I was just like, beers. this is quite similar. Sorry about that. No, no, I'm into it. I didn't into make it. the choice. I'm into it. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, perfect for a, uh, a warm, sunny afternoon. Poor, perfect for a you never know. Okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll let you go set up. You're going to play You Never Know. I'm gonna play it. Thanks, thanks for coming. Thank you very much. Enjoy it. Uh, next up we have a 20-year-old indie pop rock voice from Melbourne. The AU Review listed her as one of Australia's top 20 artists to watch this year. Please welcome Stella Farnan. Woo! Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? I'm well, thanks I'm well. for coming. Thanks. 
Thanks for having me. Um, how have you been? This is my first real social interaction since ISO. Yep. What about you? Have you been out and about? Um, no, I've been really cooped up. Oh, yeah, good. Not definitely. the only one then. This is new and foreign to me. Is it okay? It's good. It's great. It would yeah. didn't like shock you? Um, yes, it, it shocked shock me, you. but in a great way. <laughs> it's good. A, it's a good thing. I'm glad. Okay, let's get to your record. Mm -hmm. um, this is a killer record that you've chosen. Yeah. Tell us why you have chosen Feral by RBG. Yeah. I'll let you, I, I'll let you take the reins. Yes, I, I love this record. It's like brand new though. Um, yes. Oh, what, is it April, wasn't it? The April this year, yeah. Um, I love this record so much. I, I started listening to RBG a couple of years ago. I think a friend like sent me a playlist and their song, Quality of Mercy, was mm -hmm. on that. Um, and I've been following them since then. Have you seen them live? I have, but it was a bit of a, like it was a great show, mm. but it was, at, it was like one of those uh, free shows at a university. Ah, oh, okay. So I saw, like they, it was great. It was- What university was it? At, at Melbourne Uni. Oh yeah, like, I used to love those gigs. On yeah. Like Tuesdays at still? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately I have class now, so I can't go to them. <laughs> Just and skip, also they don't class. happen now, but- then, Oh, because of I Because said, of the okay. pandemic, yeah. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, um, no, this record is great and it's uh, just its just like all about the lyrics and the energy mm. and yeah, I mean, it's she's amazing, Romy. Yep. Romy's amazing. Thing. Okay, I'm, I'm uh, excited to see which beer you match. Yeah. Um, you just pulled this one out? I did, so I did. Why did you choose this one? Um, I can't, I... <laughs> Yeah, I can't lie to you. It's because of the colours. <laughs> I think it looks pretty. It's a cool pretty. cover too. It is such a cool cover. Is the record itself the vinyl black in this? Record? It is. It I is swear. black. But um, oh cool. Black. It's I, I I love the crab. Um, oh, I was that's so cute. <laughs> I was looking at this today, and it reminded me of this of this picture I've seen online. I don't know if any of you guys have seen it, but it's just like it's captioned like. Name name anything in this picture, and it's just like this no. weird. Uh, it's obviously been edited yeah. so that you can't like make out what any of the objects oh, are. Oh wow! And I kind of I don't That's know if the it's vibe? the colours. This is kind of the vibe. Obviously, you can see the crab. I can see and gum the gum leaf or something. Flout, but yeah, the rest of it's a now bit. Now it's like a fun game. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a game, bit of a nice fight. And Those the colours because that's poor. I'm so into the visuals. Yeah. Hmm. I like it. It Whoa, is that's like cool. It's weird, isn't it? I don't know Do what I'm tasting. Do you have any words to describe oh, I don't it? know what I'm tasting. I'm like, I want to be honest. I should be and like smelling the smell, it, right? The smell I'm smelling is not like the most normal smell that I expect in a beer. It's just like the aftertaste takes you on a bit of a journey. It's bitter. It does take it you on a journey. It tastes like beer, I think. Um, <laughs> it tastes like beer. <laughs> I, maybe, maybe because of the link, it tastes like crab. I don't even. I don't know what is crab tastes like. like. It doesn't taste like crab. What does it smell it, like? I'm into it. It smells it, like something. I'm really bad at this, actually. Yeah, me too. I've never done it before. I mean, it's not my favourite smell, to be honest. But it tastes good. Okay, let's get on to your next record, which is your own record. So you don't have vinyl either. So I, I made you one. Yes. For your thank single, you so Act much. Like a Party, which is. So good. That's the first song I heard by you. Aiden, who was on before, told me about you, and I heard that song. I was like, "Oh, who's this?" Thank you. <laughs> um, she is legit, and yeah, it's a great song. Thanks. Um, really great flow, so catchy. Um, what's it about, though? Um, yeah, thank you. It's like I feel like uh, the song was a bit of a journey because I think I I started writing it like I I don't even know when I was. A, like maybe 14 or 15, I think. Because mm. I start, it started as, I was mucking around with like a loop pedal and a microphone, and that's how I got what became the guitar riff. Oh. And I wrote the ver or like a couple of verses, I think. And then I didn't come back to it for like several years. Oh my gosh. And then, then came the chorus. That's crazy. So the lyrics are from when you were 14 or 15? Right. I think it's like 14 or 15, but I'm not really sure. I was yeah. trying to go through my voice memos to find it, but that's just some of the verses and then, yep. I don't know. Yeah. It's so good. But, um, so what's it about? Because 
I have really bad hearing. Sometimes I can't hear the lyrics, so I have my own interpretation. But yeah, what is it? Is it? Is it about exactly? Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously, as because I was like yes. a teen writing it, um, it was pretty much. I, I was thinking about how 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 much I I'd love to be invited to everything, but also I, I hate the whole. I, I just hated being a teenager, but I had to be one. Um, I still feel this way. And that was that was <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much that was pretty much what I was thinking about. I guess in a way it's kind of about about uh, being in awe of like people who who f who seem cool. Okay, good. In that's a way. what I thought it was about. Like, yeah. You wanna, um, get it wrong. Yeah. Oh, I'm whatever. Too you, scared. What do you think? Yeah, that's true. That's what I thought. I thought. Oh, I imagined. Um, I was at a party, um, and just like being a bit envious of like people being really chill I'm like they're so popular I'm like I don't care what anything anyone thinks about me but I, I totally care still care <laughs> I pretend I don't yeah but that's the vibe you know it's stupid but you can't, can't help it well, maybe yeah. you can but yeah okay All so right. let's get our beer experts to tell us what they've matched with your single for Stella Farnan's single act like a party we've matched the brand new release from Future Mountain fortune telling lady it's a golden sour aged in oak barrels with Morello cherries. Okay, you ready? Can't see a thing. That's no. And I got your. I got fresh ones for you. I got a fresh one for each person, just so you know hygiene and stuff. I love hygiene. Yeah, me too. Okay, I'm pouring the beer as we speak. You have to guess the color of the beer, um, like the flavor profile. So as we we're trying to do before, like I don't know, <laughs> sour, sweet. Yeah. Any flavors you can pick up, fruity. Yeah. And then you have to guess what kind of beer it is. Okay. Okay. All right. You may sip the beer. All right. Can I guess those things before I try? Mm, it? Yeah. You should go for it. Ooh. <laughs> hmm. What does it smell like? Tell me. It smells like wine. I don't, <laughs> I don't know anything about beer. All oh, right. Wow. Yeah. Oh whoa. Whoa, that's cool. Um. Okay. Wow, that was, that's an experience. All right, I really like that. Is it, okay, I'm guessing the color. color. Oh, I just, I, it's purple. Is it, <laughs> is it, is it I've like never seen dark? a purple beer. Is it dark? I can't tell you Okay, answer. but I just commit. Commit. I commit. Okay, you got to commit answer. to an answer. So it's dark, it's dark it's, something. It's well, you have to guess. Dark, uh, what are my options? <clears throat> dark brown, I suppose. Okay, you're lucky you know? Yes, Two? I'll okay. lock that in. Um, and now you have to guess the, some, some words about the flavour. Okay, all right. Um. I just taste it for the first time, it's delicious. It's really Do good. Do you like it? It's really good. I mean, I... I think that... This is hard. I this is really, really hard. I really like it though. Um, okay, I'm going to have one more sip. I, say, I did say it smelled like wine, which I'm sure, I'm sorry. Hurts, hurts you people who know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe there's some like fr people say fruity, right? Okay, we're gonna go with fruity. Lock okay. it in. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Yep. I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, one, just one more. Just take a while. Okay. Right. Um, or another flavor profile. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's it yeah. is a bit sour. Love that it. That's profile? what I thought as well. Okay. Mhm. Mm Do you want to move on? Is it is it getting too stressful? Um, I don't feel stressed, but I feel confused. <laughs> okay, I don't okay. know if I can give you anything more. Okay, the next, you have to, the next thing is what kind of beer it is. Okay. Which is, oh yeah, cool. I can see what it is on the bottle, so I'm good. I mean, I said it was sour. So you're gonna go with sour beer? I think I'm gonna go with sour beer. I, again, Congratulations, I I'm just gonna tell you that's right. Really? Yeah. Can I take this take off? Take it off. All right. Okay, here's your beer. So it's a golden sour beer. Wow. It is dark brown. Oh, no way. And I think your descriptions are right. But really? I think you might have done the best out of everyone so far. That's amazing. But as I said before, there is no prize. But I, the pride and incredible. Yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. I suppose How cool people is. don't need to I don't know. So it's cherry, so it's fruity. It's really it good. Looks, it looks kind of whiny, which you said. I really the like bottle. that. I don't know, but yeah. I think you did well. That's really good. And cool. no, I'm not no no pretending. I really enjoy it. Yeah, it was delicious. I, enjoy the I really like this one. Yeah. Um, okay. Well 
<laughs> well done. Good match. Good match for the record, Jurgen. I, 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 I guess. You, you seem like I in mean, the corner hating everyone at the party or envying everyone <laughs> at the party with this, this wine. Well, I mean, if I, I, I made that and I like that, so I guess that's a good match. Yeah, it's a great match. Um, I, don't, I don't know how to self-analyze <laughs> more than okay. that. I can just tell you it's really good. <laughs> awesome. Um, do we have one more time? No more time. That's so sad. Well, you're going to play Act Like a Party now. I Just am. a banger. Thank, Thank you. you. I'll let you go set up. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having and me. And doing Thanks the elbow so thing. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> cool. I tend to open my mouth and not really speak. I'll dip my toes in, but avoid the deep. Can you open me? My next guest writes songs about love and gore. She is unbelievably captivating with a voice that lingers in the night. Please welcome Yi Lin. Woo! Yeah. Just lingering in the night. Lingering back there. in the night. Look at you. Lingering in the night. I know. Um, welcome, Yi Lin. Thank you. Can um, we reveal something? Your first name is actually not Yi Lin. It's true. It's your, that's your middle name? Yes. 
Your first name is? Jessie. Jessie. It's remarkably, <laughs> it's much, much less exciting than you, Lynn. No, um, I love Jessie. It's a great name. You know what? For search engine optimization, Jessie <laughs> does no not good. cut it. I <laughs> turns see what out. you did, I did there. not crack the top ten <laughs> for Jessie, but uh, you, so you get me. You yeah. get you. It is my name. It's your middle so name. It's, yeah, it's my middle so name. Your Chinese name. It's my Chinese your name. Jessie's my English name. I am. So am I. Yeah, True I bill. know. True, True bill. Bill. something else. <laughs> number two. <laughs> Reveal um, number two of the night. Secret number two is we're related. We are. Crazy. I know. Um, you are my cousin, I believe. <laughs> I believe. I've heard rumour of this myself. <laughs> I believe we grew up together. A sick, <laughs> sick rumour. <laughs> yes, yeah. sick rumour. Okay, um, let's get on to business. Okay. Um, thanks for coming. Thank I you. I know you love beer. I know your partner loves beer. Yes. So you should be all over this because there's a game coming. Okay. And you have to guess the beer. And we've already had Stella who nailed it. So you have to nail it even more. I yeah. do like fear, but I do not like games. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be a problem. Do I not like surprises? Yeah. Do you like surprises? No, I cannot be shocked. So I sorry. must not be shocked. I should have emailed you in advance. <laughs> Please. <laughs> if only I had read the document that you sent me. How did you feel? Talk about this beer. This is our sponsor. Oh yeah. Spark Beer, being sponsored by beer. I helped myself to one just earlier. Actually. Yeah, I've been it's sipping delicious. on this one just here. Yeah. Um, it is, have you heard of these guys before? No. They, um, so I just heard about them through Beer Mash. Um, and this, they do a bunch of these different slogans or like sayings on cans that raise social awareness. And this one is Respect, and it references um, Aretha Franklin's song, Respect, which became a civil rights yeah. anthem back in the 60s. Mm -hmm. I think that's so relevant for today, sadly, and what's going on with um, the Black Lives Matter movement and things like that. So. Um, yeah, we're going to put links down below for um, these guys so you can check out all the kind of issues they're raising. At the same time, this month, they're also um, raising money for, um, let's get it here, the Justice for Indigenous Australians um, organisation. So we'll put a link below for that so you can find, about, Sick. Um, find out more about their fundraising for that cause, which will be really great awesome. um, to check out. But yeah, also a great beer. Tell me why you've chosen this beautiful record. Oh my oh, this, god. This is such a good choice. That's a professional. Tell me. Tell why. me. That's exactly what I did there. <laughs> and Thank you for pointing it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so this is an awesome, awesome record. Uh, Tell Me Why came out in, I think, like November 2019. Um, mm. And it's a bunch of Archie Roach's songs that he's um, re-recorded with new arrangements um, to match up with the release of his memoir that came out at the same time. And yep. I am very bad at reading books. So, so bad at reading books. Um, and this, um, this record is like such an amazing, um, sort of journey through Archie's life and different chapters of the book uh, lined up with different songs on the record, yes. which is really nice. Have you, can I butt in and say that I've listened to the audible version of the book? And okay. So they put in the oh, songs, they put in the songs. Each between the chapters. That's awesome. That's what I thought you were referring to. Like you also experienced the no, audible. No, I just version. like, I, I've listened to the record and then I'd like read a chapter oh, and then the chapter would have the okay. lyrics written out, that's very which good is really you. nice. Yeah. No, but the audible, that sounds better, actually. <laughs> that sounds a lot better. Amazing. Yeah. Can I also see the inside of the record? Sure. I want to see how beautiful it looks. It's a double L LP. It's big. Yeah, it's a big one. What a little intro and lyrics. Cool. Yeah. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Okay, so what beer have we chosen? Oh, I've got it. You got it here. Here we go. So, this particular beer is... Um, actually not a beer. It's so, not a beer that is not a beer. It's a beer that's not a beer. Um, this is a beer by Soba, which is a, um, a really cool indigenous owned company that makes these craft beers that are alcohol free. Um, and, you know, uh, Archie goes through the, in the memoir, talks um, quite a lot about his um, ongoing issues with alcohol. And mm -hmm. it does not escape me that we are on Smith Street in a very fancy, fancy beer store drinking in a location and drinking responsibly in a location where a lot of Aboriginal people have been targeted for drink, drinking in public and drinking around. So um, so I thought that this was uh, a really cool and interesting um, choice. And it's um, this one is the Finger Lime Cerveza. Mm, Two delicious. years of Spanish ab initio helped me <laughs> uh, do that. So light, um, light, zesty and tangy, less than 0.5% alcohol. How nice oh, is that? So good. Yeah, it's super refreshing. Um, it's so nice to have like a grown-up drink that's not 
alcoholic and not like super, super sweet, That's you know? Yeah, it's super nice. I wonder if I would realize if someone gave this to me. Now we've got Yi Lin. Mm. So you released this around this time last year. Yeah. yeah. And um, you released this quietly, like you didn't have promo. You only, do you only play two gigs? No, I play more than two gigs, but not many. <laughs> Three gigs. I, no. I played like I, I did some gigs leading up to the launch. Played the launch, and then I was like, "Well, and that's, that's it. That's me down. Adam. Thank See you." Ya. You know, but like, still Triple J um, people blanking the name Triple J hosts and things like that on Triple J and it picked it up without you doing promo or PR, and like left such great reviews. A lot yeah. of them about your lyrics. They're like such captivating, beautiful lyrics. Um, and I mean, that's amazing. You also won a Triple J award um, to make a music video mm. and you went to flew to Sydney. Yeah, yeah, that was really fun. Um, uh, Unearthed had a competition to have a um, video made mm. in collaboration with um, final year students from NIDA. Amazing. So they made me a really beautiful video clip, which was so fun. Beautiful. And I was like, oh, I'm glamorous. <laughs> Look at me on set. You know, did, did you have, have makeup hair. and wardrobe? <laughs> I did have makeup and they were so nice. Oh, and nice. it was really, it was just a really fun, lovely experience. Um, we will taste the beer. Oh, okay. For Yi Lin's album, Spit Into Somebody's Mouth, we've chosen Dark Deeds by Quiet Deeds. Their brand new release, Midwinter. It's a vanilla chocolate porter. Nice. Thank you. Oh, mmm. Smells, smells really nice. What do you smell? Smells like Nesquik. <laughs> Which I like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm, true. Okay, what colour is it? That's a dark beer, for sure. Okay, locked in. And um, give me some flavour profiles. <laughs> <laughs> um, like chocolatey, uh, vanilla-y, milky kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. Is that too many? <laughs> is that too no, many? That was, that was perfect. Now you must guess what type of beer it is. Mm. <laughs> I would say a stout, but it's like not. It's not too heavy bodied, as you might say, friend. <laughs> um, yeah, I would go a stout or like a porter or like a dark ale. Am I, is it cheating that I'm picking three things? You <laughs> actually must choose one. Okay. I would. I'll go a, oh, you, oh, was that gonna be a clue? No. Oh, okay. But, um. <clears throat> I don't know, you look like you're stuck in the middle with that one. Which one would you choose? Oh, that sounds stuck like a clue and I don't remember <laughs> which one I... Stout port. I'm going to say it's a porter. Alright, well, take the blindfold and we'll reveal. Yes! Ooh! Dark Deeds Porter. Look at the matching, so beautiful awesome. purple. Oh, that's not bad. That's good, eh? And yeah, you got all good. of the flavour profiles, chocolatey vanilla. It's a, it's a vanilla porter. Oh! It's um, from dark? Deeds Brewing. I said it was dark. It's dark. It's dark. <laughs> oh yeah, that is actually really dark. You like nailed it. Sauce. I'm going to give you a tie with Stella. Because I actually cheated and let you. You did actually give me a clue. I did get it, have a family um, advantage, I feel. This is yeah, very that's, locally that's really in tasty. Glen Iris, which is where my mum my used to live. She just moved oh, house. Oh, the then. house in Glen Iris. Mm, so sad. I actually know about that house. I'm kind of <laughs> asking related. <laughs> cool. Okay, well. That's delicious. Thanks for coming. I'm sorry I have to wrap up, but you know. A pleasure, it's all right. Sorry that I. We can talk. Yep, yep, we can yep. talk later. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And you're going to perform. Oh, yeah. You go. I'm going to perform. I'm gonna um, over, that. over, over. Over, over. Okay, go set up. Over, over. Thanks very much. Thank you for coming.
sleep on.